I was glad. I just wanted to hear him admit it. Jessica Williams lost her child to murder in December of 2018. Now, four and a half years later, Pastor Albert Weathers of Sterling Heights has pleaded guilty to killing 36-year-old Kelly Stow, a transgender woman leaving her body in the street near McNichols and Brush in Detroit, an area known for prostitution. Did you say a prayer with her before you left her out in the street like trash? You know, did you just at least hold her hand and tell you sorry? Kelly's family wants the world to know she wasn't some castaway. She was very much loved. It has been heart-wrenching. Yeah, Kelly was my first grandchild, and we had a bond, a serious, tight bond. I don't want her to be what society may have a picture of, of trans women of color, you know. They're not throwaways. They're not people who people have forgotten. You know, they, they all have a backstory, and I think that's something that needs to be realized. She was cared for. She, she was loved. Born Tristan Stow, he was raised in the church, grew to be six foot four, got a scholarship and played college football, but left after a couple of years instead, wanting a career in fashion. I personally told her to be the best version of herself that she could be, own it, <laughs> um, just live your life and be happy. In school in Chicago, Tristan studied fashion and found a community of authenticity and eventually told her family she was transgender. People called her Kelly. I was glad for her. I was proud of her to, to own who she was and to be her true self. Why the pastor shot Kelly Stow in the early morning hours of December 7th, 2018, we may never know. But Kelly's family hopes Pastor Albert Weathers tries to make things right. He's facing eight years in prison for second degree murder and two years for felony firearm. How tortured are you to lead such a duplicitous life? And to the point that you were willing to cover up what you did, Mm. by taking this line. Mm. How dare you? Clearly, he's attracted to that population. Mm -hmm. So own it. Mm -hmm. Own it. Mm -hmm. And maybe change your life. Kelly's family grateful to the Wayne County prosecutor and Wayne County victim advocate for the transgender community, Julissa Abad, for sticking with the case that was finally about to go to trial on Monday. I am glad that there was a conviction. Um, justice was finally served. You just don't know the lives that people live, and it goes again to the social stigma that my community experiences, particularly trans women of color. Women like Kelly Stow, whose lives matter. My sister never wavered in her commitment to her child um, as a person first. And that's what I would encourage families to do, look beyond the social stigmas. Stick by your kid, you know, stand with them. You know, you have them, they're yours and support them. In Detroit, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.